Top three things in my notebook this morning, number one, China, number two, gold, and number three, the 10-year bond yield. Uh, China's interesting uh, for the simple reason that the market just stopped going up, and on good reason. So Darius has outlined this in a couple of notes as of late. Obviously, the Chinese stock market does not like the removal of liquidity. Neither do the Chinese like uh, the property market getting too hot. So that's why they removed the liquidity. So looking at China, it's down about 2.2% in the last couple of days. It broke its immediate term trade line, which is a more important signal. So again, what ends up happening in our model, and it broke the trade line, which is 2189 on the Shanghai comp. Quantitative signal is qualified by the research, which is how we roll. So that's an interesting point. That takes out the momentum out of the Chinese side. Despite the PMI number being a little bit better in October, it was just another stabilization number. It's how we'd have a read-through on that. Second thing is gold. Gold, for the first time in probably over a year, I have to go back, kind of reschedule and look at where I was a year ago on this. At least a year, I haven't been bullish on gold. But for the first time, we're getting some signals that gold may start to put in a series of higher lows. Now, that's new, and that shouldn't be a coincidence because, of course, what's also new is the 10 bond yield breaking uh, its upside down line on this, which is its trend line. So, again, bond yields move inver inversely versus gold. So, again, there's one thing that gold loves, which is bond yields falling. There's another thing that gold loves, which is growth slowing, and there's a thing that gold has always loved, which is a guy named Ben Bernanke. So, again, if you look at gold, I mean, it could easily start to break out here, and I'd have to see some confirmation, so I'm not going to get, you know, all hot and heavy about this, but I am telling you that I'm not going to short it. That's that's the first point when I stop getting bearish on something. And the next point, of course, within a cycle of how we look at, at, at cycles, uh, is, is buying it. I'm going to see if 1316, which is the immediate term breakout line from a trade perspective, holds on gold. If it does, we might buy it. And then the upside down of that is bonds in terms of bond yields. If it stays below two spot six percent on the ten year, which is now the trend line, buy bonds too. I mean, it's 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 really it's really upsetting. This would be the new slow growth investment style. But yeah, you know, I, I don't care. I mean, I have to be right. I don't have to be dogmatic or ideological. So that's that's your top three things.